Here we go. I'm going to just email Jessica because she just got back to me, but she's she's trying her best. But I, don't, okay. I, don't, I want her to know she doesn't have to. Okay. Okay, now I am all. Gabby, thank you. So, Is it okay if I call you Gabby? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for meeting with us today. Of course. Um, sorry, a little introduction. Uh, so Gabby has been Nick's um, uh, BCBA at Perspectives Corporation for how long now? Um, a couple years, at least two years. I've known him for a little bit longer than that. Um, in some different capacities, but been on his clinical team for at least two years now. Uh, it's been longer than that, right? You, I mean, you were on uh, when Claire was his BCBA. Yeah, so probably him. close to five years, maybe. But known him for quite a bit of time now. <laughs> That's great. And, and Vanessa is the coordinator of the uh, options program at Hendrickson, which is. Uh, a wonderful thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. And Nick is doing good. Oh, good. <laughs> yes, I do. Good. I did notice, like, it was really funny. Not funny, haha, but like, funny, like, that's cool. I could see it at like 11, 30, 12 o'clock. He, like, a whole different mode of like, I think I'm done, but I'm really trying hard. Mm -hmm. I kind of like saw that like wave over his face. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, he's doing it. I haven't gotten any notifications from the teachers or the mentors, but I could definitely see that he's like working so hard. And by like 12, he was like tired. Yeah. Yeah. But he is, he's, he's like trying so hard. And I did give him a mood sheet today. Cause on Friday, I don't know if he was repeating what someone else had said or um he was saying it but he just kept saying like towards the end of the day he was like I'm so sad I'm so sad and then we would say oh you're sad and he would he would not like respond to it but he would just say he was sad so I gave him a, a mood paper today um with the rules on it and with his mood and I keep checking in just to make sure that he's not sad <laughs> well that's good he does sometimes um get into I guess you could call it wordplay it's almost like um I I often go back to uh the the book um the reason I jump I don't remember the the um name of the author but he's a young um Japanese man I think and um he uh he opens the book by describing those kind of verbal exchanges with people as um as if, if it's like playing catch you know um yeah. so he does have those types of things that he he does sometimes and and so yeah occasionally he can say something like i'm sad when he's not really sad but yeah on the other hand, he, but lately you know in recent years he is mm -hmm. becoming a lot better at at meaning what he says <laughs> so, okay i know that's good to know yeah um do you want me to just tell should i tell gabby a little bit about what we were seeing on friday yeah yeah okay so um, on Friday, so I will, I do want to preface it with Thursday, we didn't see any of these behaviors. And then Friday, um, I did, like he came in and I don't know if this makes any sense, but you can kind of just tell like the energy of a student sometimes. And I could, I could tell that he was like, like stimulated, like there was a lot going on. And in all fairness, we were in the theater, there's the whole school. Um, so the expectation was that he sit down and listen to, you know, the principal, the vice principal, the deans talk about the school year. Um, and so we had asked Nick to be quiet and he, that was just not, he, he, the mentor tried to redirect him three times. And then I went up and tried to redirect him, um, both verbally and with hand signals. And I think he just thought it's adorable, but he just thought it was like a game. He just, mm -hmm. he, he would be like, shh. And then he would wait for me to, <laughs> and then we were like playing a game and I was like, Nick, it's not a game. I need you to, I need you to be quiet. I need no talking. 
and I would go like this, no talking. And then he would go, shh, no talking. Which again, so great, but not when the principal is talking. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I did take him out just because um, it was distracting enough where I felt like it was taking away from the overall presentation for the rest of the student. So instead, Nick and I kind of walked around the school and delivered um, papers to all the different CP teachers. And then um, I'm gonna go back to my notes just because I'm already forgetting Friday. And then um, we, when we got back to the classroom, he just had a really hard time sitting. So he like went up and touched the microwave. He went up and touched the fish tank. He left the classroom and he did do that on <clears> Thursday <throat> several times where he would just kind of like leave. And um, luckily both Thursday and Friday, there was two adults in the room at all mm -hmm. times. So if he left, someone could follow him, but it was mm -hmm. the kind of thing where I did bring the concerns, um, you know, mm -hmm. to Megan and Steve. because I was just like, we can't, um, we have to trust that the students can walk from class to class unattended because we don't have the staff to mm -hmm. uh, make sure that they go to point A to point B. Um, and, and he would just kind of like disappear or we'd be walking in line in the, in the hallway and he would just pop into a bathroom. But if no one noticed, no one would know mm -hmm. that he was there. Um, and the same thing with water. He filled up his water in the same way. So like he might disappear because he had to fill up his water. And luckily we could follow him, but we can't always do that. And then um, he would also just like disappear if we were walking down the hall and we would find him. Um, and then he, um, so there was like the getting up talking. So if the teacher redirected him, he did sit back down, but it was mm -hmm. the frequency that was the problem because mm -hmm. it was pretty constant. There mm -hmm. was, for, I would say from the period he entered the class on Friday, which I believe was nine until like 1030, it was pretty constant. And then 1030, 1015, maybe even there was a shift maybe even after snack where he, he could like sit and he did the assigned work, um, mm -hmm. which was doing his schedule and his planner. Um, and he did, he needed very little redirection and just sat there and did his work. Um, and then the other thing, the, the big issue um, was that he tried to touch the teacher's head mm -hmm. repeatedly. Um, and while the I wanted to get the words from Jessica. So I asked her and because I said oh, something about it was like intimidating almost. And so while like when he actually grabbed her head, that wasn't aggressive, his like motion or we said like charging mm -hmm. over to her was very abrupt and aggressive. So it kind of like made a person, you know, go like this. Right. Um, and, and Jessica just put her hands up every time and said, hands to your side, hands to your side. Um, but I, you know, like I told Steve and Megan, we just don't have the staff or the ability to, um, manage or work with students with behavior. So I was really hoping Gabby, that you could be a miracle worker <laughs> <laughs> and troubleshoot this or help us troubleshoot yeah. this. And so today, so when was the first day of school? So we do like a staggering. So Wednesday, nope. Thursday was the first day for freshmen. Okay. They had taking flight and that's an entire day of unstructured. Mm -hmm. It's it's just games and fun and they're moving all around the building and it's very unstructured, structured, unstructured time, if you will. <laughs> and then Friday was orientation. It was from 8 or 8.30 to 11.30. Um, and it was, it was, it wasn't really school, but it was a lot of like, we're going to sit here, we're going to do this, and then we're going to go get pictures, and then we're going to sit here and do this, and then we're going to go get our computers. It was a lot of that. So that, so was, the day, that, that was, was Friday. That was, okay. Yeah, um, and then today, Friday is our first official day. I mean, excuse okay. me. Today is our first official day. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was, so that was two days of him being there, and then today, nothing has happened so far with no like, and I did so after speaking with mom and dad yes uh Friday I did pull him for his first class for a little bit mm -hmm. and we broke we broke it down to four for right now anyway like classroom expectations mm -hmm. so um staying seated mm -hmm. 
raise your hand if you need to go to the bathroom or uh, answer a question or take a break. Mm -hmm. um, no talking while someone else is talking and then keep your hands to yourself. I don't know if I said keep your hands to yourself or keep your hands by your side. I think I said, keep your hands to yourself. Mm -hmm. And so we went over those four rules. I did like little mini, mini, mini brief, like social story on each one, just because mm -hmm. I saw that in the eval as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we practiced. Oh, and so then he also got a taking break card, a take, take a break card. Yeah. And, and we practiced mm -hmm. several times in several different ways. Um, and I will say he already has mm -hmm. used it twice. That's great. Yeah. The first, none of the times he's used it where like he got up and was like, I'm taking a break or, and handing the card. But what I will say is I already noticed a difference between the first time when I kind of noticed the glazed look and maybe we needed to move around for a little bit <laughs> um to the third time well so the first time I had to say like you know take out the card hand it to the mentor and he was kind of like what is this <laughs> you know right. like I don't know yeah and then by the third time I said take a break and he said oh and he like pulled out his card and then I said uh -huh. no hand it to the mentor so it was already clicking a little bit more uh -huh. at the third time um and he went right to the chapel each time which I thought was really good yeah, I think those are really good ideas for him because I think he knows obviously similar expectations to classrooms he's been in previously, but maybe just the fact new people, new setting, all that kind of stuff that he just needs those little reminders. And even just the visual reminders, I think will be able to be faded probably even throughout the school year. But for right now, just to have those kind of <clears throat> to grab his attention, like, oh, yeah, I can ask for a break or um I, if I need to fill up my water bottle, I need to ask or tell someone because that were, were, those were things that he was practicing in his other classroom. Like, hey, you're leaving the classroom. You need to tell the teacher where I'm going. Like, hey, I'm going to PE or hey, I'm going to fill up my water bottle. So those were things that he has practiced in the past that he probably just needs kind of a little reminder like, hey, it's a new setting with new people. But, you know, same kind of expectations still apply in the classroom. You need to tell people where you're going. So I think those little because he does so well with um like textual prompts and just uh, those are so easy to kind of just have out and just point to and reference um that I found those are super useful um because even it helps kind of if you are stuck in like that like game with him or like you're doing like the verbal back and forth to being able to just kind of like point to something that's written down um where he can just read it and reference it I found that pretty helpful but I mean I love the idea of the break card because that was something he was doing independently last year too so maybe he just needs um he just need that little memory jog like oh yeah I can ask for a break when I need it because he got pretty um he did that pretty independently um I saw him use it a lot um and a lot of periods that he had at the end of the day like um if he was in reading class at the end of the day and he you could kind of tell he was losing his attention a little bit long day and he was like I need a break and then that was honored for a few minutes and then back to work so I think just getting back into that kind of <clears throat> swing of things will help um because those are all things that he's familiar with um and even like you were saying to the social stories and just having those kind of expectations and like having being able to review those I think are helpful to him because he does so well with rules and he wants to follow the rules um and wants to do the right thing all of the time so just like having that review of it I feel like and having it fresh in his head kind of every day or every period even I don't know how frequently um would be super helpful to him we we definitely could do it every morning during homeroom mm -hmm. do you think that would be helpful yeah I think just starting I think just having just addressing it and having it kind of in the forefront of his mind helps a lot um to just be like okay those are the rules because I know he will like repeat them back to himself too I know he takes um he will pay attention to them and kind of um reference back to them himself so I think that would be good to have someone review like hey um you know these are are the expectations and um or even if he has like a sheet to reference like even if he just keeps it kind of near him or something like a sheet to reference if he needs it not even necessarily if if you review it once at the beginning of the day and then throughout the day if he just has 
even like if he has like a folder or something that he carries around um that's what we did today I did like I did it twice just because I wasn't sure what he'd look at most but he has in his folder like a walking copy if you yeah that's perfect that's what I was thinking yeah yeah that's walking with him and then I have it on a whiteboard that when he's in the options classrooms are is on his desk yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, I love the white the whiteboard with him is something that like we use all the time at home. Mom and dad use it all the time. Um, super easy to jot something down because he just he's he does so well. Just like if you write something and he's like, oh, OK, like, I OK, so writing um, is definitely best, like preferred way of communication, would you say? Because I have yeah. another student who's kind of like that. Yeah, he I mean, it's he can understand when you speak it to him. I mean, I feel like just having that permanent product to reference for him is so helpful and then he can kind of glance back because he will reference it and glance back um but he'll he'll memorize it too though yeah I mean quickly he he memorizes things very quickly Mm -hmm. yeah Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah would just out of curiosity I definitely want to get to the the thing with the teacher and kind of touching his head her head but um I did notice today, so we were doing an assignment where people write five facts about themselves, and Nick started to write the rule, which I was like, I love that you know the rule, (laughs) and I love that you're trying to show me you know the rules, and maybe you love the rules, but (laughs) I was hoping for like what you did this summer. So I, what I ended up doing was writing the directions, and that did seem to help. Mm -hmm. So do you think that that is better? for any time that we have an assignment where it's like, you know, we give verbal directions, but they're not written down. Should we write the directions down for Nick? Yeah, I think that's super helpful. Um, I think it is good for him to practice just being able to listen to directions and follow through the instructions, but it's something where it's a longer task or there's a lot of steps to it. I think it can't hurt to have that written down. Okay. Um, Yeah, especially at first, right? And then those are the kinds of things that you might you might look to fade after a while after he's mm-hmm. kind of got it down but yeah um, but and yeah. those are yeah those, those text prompts are easy to fade to which is why we use them so often um and you can always like partially write them at some point too like so he doesn't need the full text prompts but yeah those are I think definitely helpful for him just to have something to um reference and because and he does he likes to write stuff down so I can see him writing down the instructions but even he responds so well too if you're just like nope we're working on this right now um he knows like oops that was the wrong thing but I think sometimes he just can get carried away with the writing because he just enjoys it so much (laughs) okay and then what do you recommend for when he uh I, I mean he didn't do it so far today but if he does it again what do you recommend for when he's um either like kind of talk like yesterday was or Friday it was a lot of just like constant talking or constant getting up well how would you troubleshoot those two things I think that the break card will help with the getting up hopefully it's I feel like he's still maybe orienting to the classroom a little bit and um figuring that out when he was getting up he was you're saying he was kind of just like going around to touch things is that what he was getting up most for yeah he he would be like yeah microwave and then he would be like microwave hot and then he would say like hot 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 Mm -hmm. which was was fine it's just that like you know Mrs. Medeiros was talking about like the the rules and expectations and the schedule and so I think it was just that that interruption if it was the one time in the redirect Mm -hmm. not a problem I think it was just the frequency of the behavior that was kind of the thing that was difficult but um but yes he would just like go over it like he went to the fish tank and he touched it (laughs) here's the fish um and then um (laughs) oh and then the he like in the morning when we were in the theater there was just nothing we were going to say that was going to stop him from talking while the presentation was going. He mm-hmm. was, he was just going to talk. I know. I'm trying to, th- I'm wondering if he was like overwhelmed with the amount of people or something and was looking mm-hmm. for a way to say, like, I don't, and like, didn't have a way to say like, Hey, I need a minute or something like that. I'm trying to think of like put myself in his shoes a little bit. Um, 
but uh, yeah, as far as that, I would just, if there is an opportunity before like an assembly like that, or obviously at the beginning of the day, just to, I feel like reviewing those rules would be helpful too. So he knows. And I think sometimes it probably is really hard for him to um, suppress like the things that he wants to say out loud because he is trying, he's so social and wants to interact with everyone all the time. Um, but I think just reviewing those rules and then um, even having like, if he was able to like bring the copy to the assembly or whatever, and even just like being able to point to it. Cause I feel like once, like, kind of like you were saying, like, if you're like, Shh, and then he's also doing the same thing where you just get stuck in that. I don't know if just like being able to kind of like point to it um, and have him like read it in that time would help. Um, okay. And then he has been doing a lot today, which is adorable. <laughs> He'll say like, no talking eyes and ears he's been saying that frequently but then he does it which I think is really wonderful he's not mm -hmm. you know so I do see already an improvement from Friday I'm hoping that it continues because I I did wonder if like Friday too was like an endurance thing right like he was here on Thursday or I feel like wasn't he here one more day well, what, for the meet, meet and greet. Um, oh, the meet and greet. I was like, why do I feel like he was there three times? Thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> yes. So I, I, I was wondering if like by Friday, he was just like, this is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired. There's been a lot of stimulation. So, um, you know, we'll keep an eye on that, I guess, as the week goes on and, um, report back but yeah no I think that everything like you've described and what you've talked about with Megan and Steve already is going to help him settle it sounds like he's just getting like the lay of the land a little bit and as far as I know you wanted to talk about the incident with the teacher um and I feel like it's that is a very good sign that it hasn't happened today because I think if it was going to happen again it probably would have happened this morning um and I, the only thing I'm thinking that didn't happen is because Jessica's not here. Oh, okay. So we'll have And to he that. only did it to her. Mm -hmm. He didn't do it to me. And I was in the class all day. And he didn't do it to this other teacher, Justin Gamble, who was in the class the mm -hmm. day before. Mm -hmm. He only did it to her. And even at one point, he said, I just want to touch her hair. Mm -hmm. So I do think it was something with Jessica. Mm -hmm. whether it's her position as a classroom teacher or maybe her hair specifically I don't know mm -hmm. but um he definitely wanted to do it to Jessica specifically I think you, um, I think oops, yeah. um sorry I think you're right um that it, it, it does have to do with her being his teacher um and uh have, have to just point out that um that Miss Medeiros looks an awful lot like Miss Moniz from eighth grade. Um, oh, interesting. They, they, they're very, very similar. Um, so, you know, it's something he has carried over that we were hoping, you know, he wouldn't. Um, but we have, I, I think of all the things that we talked about on Friday, I think Megan and I worked the hardest on that, that you just can't do that, Nick. You just cannot, it's not acceptable. And I, I mean, I'm very happy to hear he hasn't done it today or done it to anyone else, but I'm, I'm quite confident that, that he has gotten the message. I, I know he's gotten the message and I'm quite confident that, that he's not going to do that. Um, but if, you know, if there's anything, Gabby, that, that you worked with um, Christine Moniz on to try and curtail that behavior, because um, yeah. we weren't there obviously at school when it was happening. Yeah, the things that I had told her, and it's it's a it's an odd one too because even like working with him in home base, like he doesn't do that to us, um, and I think it's just very maybe specific to um, certain people. And now it makes sense that I know you guys mentioned that they look very much alike. But what I had told his teacher um, last year is, as far as and I don't know what and it sounded like she stayed pretty neutral from what you're describing in the scenario, but that's what I had told his teacher last year is to not draw a huge amount of attention to it. Cause even if it's like negative attention, it might be like, he might be like, Oh, that got, you know, I'm looking for social interaction and that wasn't positive, but it got a big reaction. Like maybe I'll try that again and see, cause he always is just seeking out, um, seeking out that social interaction and, and obviously sometimes loses the words, um, 
to have it. So I told her to, um, and I'm sure this is things the teacher is already doing, but to just work in a lot of um, positive praise, like maybe even more than like natural when he is doing the right thing. So he's not seeking any attention out through those kind of means, like going up and touching her or anything like that, kind of like satisfy his need for that. So he doesn't even have to go for her or go for that um and then I mean the rules are great I think he really responds well to that and I know Megan and Steve had a lot of conversations with him too um about the expectations and I know those conversations stick with him because you'll hear you hear him repeating back things that were said so you know he was listening um and just I told his teacher last year too just like proximity wise um just always be and it's harder obviously in a class a full classroom with kids everywhere but just um like try not to give him the opportunity to do that and then like once he realizes like okay this isn't happening not getting reinforcement for this I'm not gonna um try again but I think all the things that we've talked about and that you're describing all working together and just the fact that now he's had a couple of days in there getting more comfortable um the conversation that he had with Megan and Steve I think and I mean we won't know until they see each other again but I um it sounds like he understands um the rules but I mean I would if it happens if it happens again I would just tell him nope and repeat whatever it's whatever she did in that moment sounded like she did what I would have done just like nope hands to yourself um and go do your work or redirect him to whatever task he yes was no she at. she did awesome um, yeah that's, that's what it sounded like <laughs> her reaction was better than mine because <laughs> yeah. I, I although I have like a six foot bubble you know like people have different yeah yeah, yeah. But, um, <laughs> no, she was great he he like came up to her several times and, and like one time he did charge her and I was like oh my god but she mm-hmm. every time she's just like nope and we're gonna go in this line she was very like calm and um just gave like a very her intonation barely even changed just gave a very simple direction um I think yeah if we if we can figure out as a team how to curb that behavior I think he'll be on his way for sure yeah and I think it do you know when she'll be bad I'll just be interested to hear their interaction but I don't I mean I want to hope for tomorrow, but, um, it really depends on how things go for her today. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, so I'm leaving on a trip on Wednesday night and I'll be gone the rest of this week and next week, but I'll be able to read my email. So if anything, um, pressing happens too, I can always respond over. I'll probably be checking them every couple of days. So I can always respond, um, to email if something comes up, depending on when she comes back. But honestly, it sounds everything all the things you mentioned I would agree with all of those things that you suggested so far um and just the thing with him is just keeping him keeping him busy so he doesn't have time to (laughs) do that stuff but I'm sure I mean it is probably busy for him just getting used to a new classroom and everything too so yes no I I definitely think he's tired um (laughs) and so once you get back from vacation with the expectation or do you come into the school or what? Yeah, we, I mean, with his, uh, with his previous school, I had a school contract, but we don't have to do. Yeah. If it would be, right, go ahead. Yeah. Which is, which is great, which. Yeah. So we can don't have Brenda there anymore, but whoever that person is, I can, I can. Okay. Connect. okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I have to talk to my supervisor, but I mean, we have the like release sign and everything. Um, so obviously you can communicate freely now um, and I'm free to come in. And then as far as contract wise, I did a contract with the Barrington School Department for um, an hour a week. So it gives me time to, I can always, I can come in and observe and um, collaborate with you guys. And it can be as on like an as needed basis to um whatever whatever works however much help you guys want um but yeah it's always good for us to just be in contact so we're doing the same thing at home and at school um but 
and then does Whatever he works for you at home as well yeah so we do um home base with him so I have uh, so I'm his his BCBA and then I have a treatment coordinator and then we have a direct care staff that works with him um so she's doing a split of telehealth and in-person chips but she does two in-person chips with him working on um our goals for him right now um which I can if we ever meet when we meet in the future too I can always go over everything that we're working on at home um I'm sure Megan and Steve have already described it but I can kind of yeah no I just I didn't know I guess what I was kind of wondering is should I be sending you the things like should I send I know I sent Steve and Megan but should I also send you the goals yeah, sure. You can, whatever. Not the goals. Doesn't... That's not what yeah. I meant to say. Should I send you the rules? Like, should I be sending you the same things that we're working on here? Yeah. If you, whatever is, whatever Megan and Steve want, that's fine. If you, whatever you want to share and um, send, I'm, I'll take it all. <laughs> but <Okay. yeah. laughs> I didn't know if I send it to you directly or if I just send everything to Steve and Megan and then, then they kind of figure out what I mean, we, we see yeah. Gabby a lot and we talk with Gabby a lot, but it, it's totally, you know, I mean, yeah, I think that the more that we all can share um, directly, that um, that's great. Um, I had a quick, I had a quick question. Um, Vanessa, you mentioned that, you know, he had a hard time following the instructions for an activity. Today or Friday? Um, was it today? You asked what he did in the summer? Or oh, yes. But then he did it. It just took a little bit. Yeah. So um, I'm a big fan. I, I teach special ed too. I'm a big fan of pre-teaching. So if there's anything you want me to pre-teach so he can go in and, and, and do it, um, I'm happy to do that. I felt like I did that this whole weekend. I made him sit at a table for an hour and do work. Okay. I was like, do you have the stamina? Hmm, let's check it out. <laughs> and I mean, you know, the, the home... It. The home ABA sessions are are three hours. Mm -hmm. Now he get you know he gets breaks, but he'll, but go, I, yeah. he'll go for I, 15, 20 minutes, take a break, and I didn't give him a break for the hour. Right, and he did it, no problem. And he was like jazzed, like he did a lot of work. And I just kept, he wants to do well. He just, um, you know. <laughs> He's Nick. Uh, so I said, this is what you have to do in school. And I, you know, we practice raising a hand and I need a break in the chapel. I was like, okay, yep. You know, mm -hmm. but I, we didn't, we practiced that separately. I just wanted to see if he can do an hour's. Yeah. Break. No, that's and a great test. I mean, he, he glanced just off like this was in <laughs> and then I'd say, are you done? And then I'd look and he either was done or he wasn't. And I was like, oh, you know, you have to finish it or he was fine. Hold on one second, because you know what happened? The bell just rang, and all these students are coming in. Just hold on one. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm so sorry. No, I don't, I'm just I, put on mute for I one mean, I just need to say that the, the Zoom call might cut out, because I don't, um, I forgot it. It cuts out after 40 minutes if you don't have a, a, an account with Zoom. But all you need to do is jump right back on the same link, and it'll, it'll be active. Okay. I, I just need one minute, I think. Hold on one. I'm so sorry. Hold on one. Um, and we can, we can practice that stuff at home too. Like kind of what you were doing, Megan and Steve this weekend what, during shifts, we, the more practice, the better, you know? Yeah. Um, okay. and talk about school. Gabby, yeah. um, <laughs> Jessica really does look like Miss Moniz in, yeah. in even the size, the shape, the look, it was uncanny. Oh no. <laughs> So Gabby, um, where's your vacation? I am going to Dublin and London. Oh, nice. My family, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Fantastic. It's been in the works for a couple years because we canceled uh -huh. it. So now um, it's finally happening. <laughs> Yay. <Great. laughs> yeah. I studied abroad in um, Cork, Ireland when I was in undergrad. So I'm familiar with Ireland um yeah. and I've been to London a few times but it'll be new for my family so yeah excellent Wait, time. look who came in well hi Nick. there boy <laughs> hi Nick here can you lean down a little so they can see you better it might be a blue pizza hut car there might be a blue pizza hut car that's true 
Nick, how was your day? It was good. It's good. Good job, buddy. Your title. I'm gonna meet you in 108. Go to 108. I'll be there. That's okay. Are you gonna go to class now? Okay. All right, he's going to. Okay. All right, I think this I think the Zoom is going to cut out in just a matter of seconds, but just like I said, jump right, right back on the same link. Okay, I'll yeah. come right back. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's about to cut out. Yeah, it's it's okay. It's going better than I thought. Just Good. hearing that it was aggressive, just ugh. I know, yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right.